Hello and welcome everyone to this new tutorial on getgentletrainer.com. The topic of this tutorial will be about how to validate a phone number field and to make sure to have a right phone number that starts with O and contains 10 digit maximum. All that using jQuery of course. Now here is a snapshot of what we will be building by the end of this tutorial. So here is my phone number field. If I try to enter a phone number that doesn't start with O and contains 10 digit, it won't, it won't be accepted. Otherwise, if I have entered a phone number and, but, and I try to enter a non-digit character, like letters, it, won't, it, it would disappear as well as other characters. So it will only accept digits and that doesn't exceed 10 digits. Now let's see how we can write the code that will do this work. So here is my index document which contains a simple form and uh, this form contains only a field for the phone number. The type of this output is text and I've added an event that happened on in KOP and it will return or we'll execute a function called validate phone. Before we start, make sure to go and include the Jake library. Now I've already done it and put it in my JS folder. There is my index document and a simple CSS type. Now let's try let's start out by writing the function validate phone. So here I'll start writing my function validate phone. Uh, this function will check a parameter, which is the value of entry in the field. The first thing to, we need to check for is phone is not an empty string, or and uh, it doesn't really match the regular expression that I will write here. So the regular expression is a string that should start with zero contains then digits from zero to nine and uh, contains nine digits after without counting O at the beginning. So the test I've done here is whether the phone number is empty or it doesn't match up the regular expression I've entered here. So in that case, we have a wrong phone number. Else, we do have a valid phone number. So in that case, the first thing to think about is to return false. And here, to return true. But I'm going to add some nice CSS style uh, in red. So uh, we're going to select the phone number fold, which is, by the way, Phone field by its ID. Uh, we're gonna apply to it a set of style. So background and the background will be this code for light red color. And uh, we're gonna add also a boulder which will be solid solid one pix and red. In other case, if the phone number is valid, then we need, I uh, will add a style which is not like this one. So instead of the red, I'm going to put a nice light green color. Uh, the same thing for the border. So let's see the result of this code that we have until now written. So here is the index document on the web browser. As you can see, here is my field, number field. Once I, have st I will start to enter the number, now it will do the test is it valid or not. When I enter the valid phone number, it will turn out into a green. Otherwise, if I exceed the number of digits which is allowed, it will always be in red. Now, if I try to enter a valid number but it doesn't start with zero, I will always get the error message. But how we can 
now uh, whenever we enter not digit number to delete this and keep only the digit numbers into the phone so before we do the test on the phone string that we've got or we pass to the value phone the valid phone function we need first to uh, sanitize this string and replace all or delete all the non-digit numbers and characters that appear in this string so there is a function called in jQuery called replace and uh, this function will be applied on the phone string and it takes two parameters the first parameter is the character that we were looking for and we want to delete it or replace it and the second parameter is the character that will replace this character now for the first parameter i will have to enter uh, another uh, exp regular expression which is every character that does not that doesn't contains uh, digit numbers and for the second character i will leave it blank which means and uh, otherwise i want to delete this character so we'll need to add another parameter which is the g after the second slash in order to make replacement or on global string not only one for one occurrence after we do that now it's time to display this sanitized value that we get into the phone field uh, we do that by selecting the field or by the id and passing it into the val function the phone that we get now if i if we are trying to now if we want to check whether this works or not let's go to the web browser again so here is the phone field if i try to enter another character which is not a digit as you can see it disappears and we've got always the same all tests or uh, whether the phone number matching up this rejex that we have added here now that was the idea of this tutorial i wish this could be helpful for you see you next with another new tutorial